Good day guys. Okay, so in this video I want to discuss one of the questions on capacitors from one of the past years. So in this one, it is the past year from the 1819 exam paper, SP025. And this is question number two. All right. So as you can see from the figure, um, it shows that it has three capacitors, you know, C2 and C3 are in parallel. And then C1 is in series with C2 and C3, all right? And then each of them has um, 12 microfarads as their capacitance, all right? And then there's point A and point B, okay? So let's look at the first question. It says, calculate the effective resistance, all right? So as we've said before, C2 and C3 are in parallel, and C1 is in uh, is in series with c2 and c3 so let's simplify c2 and c3 first so i'm going to use um, blue here all right so <clears throat> let's simplify c2 and c3 so i'm going to call it c2 3 all right so c2 um you, if you have parallel you're going to add them together and what you will have is 12 plus 12 that is 24 microfarads okay Okay, that is as simple as it gets. And then C1 and C2, C, I mean C23 are in series. So we know that the effective capacitance, it's going to be, right, wait for it. We're going to have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C23 and then inverse that. Okay, so... That's nice. So what we have is 1 over 12 microfarads plus 1 over 24 microfarads and then inverse that. And what we will get is 8 microfarads as its effective capacitance. All right. So in essence, what you're doing is you are simplifying. So if we have this arrangement to begin with, all right, now let me just draw that out for you. Um, we are simplifying it into this, right? And then we are simplifying that into one big capacitor. So if we have C1 here, C2 here, C3, again C1, and then C2, 3, then we have the effective capacitance there, all right? And the next question will be on the energy stored. Right, you are creating or you are allowing it to have a potential. So let's say here a battery, for example. Then you have nine volts. Now again, we can simplify this, right? We can simplify it as the effective capacitance and connect that to a battery, right? And we can calculate the energy stored by using u equals to half. C V squared. So we have C, which is the effective. So I'm just going to write that down. C effective. And then voltage is just the voltage given. So that is half times 8 microfarads times 9 volts squared. And that will give you 3.24 times 10 to the power of negative 4 joules. Right? So that is all. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.